It is day 94 of Nooch's free-to-play Kylo Quest account. Only a fool like Nooch would use Piston's U-Wing and spend resources on it for fleet battles. Perhaps you have heard the tale of Darth Nooch the Wise. Okay, well, here we are, guys. It's day 94. Nooch just hit level 83. We're going to show you some fleet action. Honestly, I have no idea if this is going to work against this fleet. Uh, I've had a lot of success against Geos and some other fleets. But we're going to try out this middle fleet here. Tarkin makes me nervous. But you can see here that Nooch is at number, uh, I'm, well, I'm, I'm hovering right now at number 40 in fleets. And free to play, day 94, uh, being top 50, well, that gets you 50 crystals. And those 50 crystals are pretty valuable, and Nooch has been spending them for extra farming. So let's go ahead and try this out. We'll kind of show you what Nooch is doing here. We definitely have got Biston in there, but with this fleet we're going against, he's not quite fast enough. So Biston is uh his speed is at 119 and he adds 15 percent right here so that's like one uh, it's gonna be 11 133 34 something like that you see we got seven star biston and pathfinder nooch is insane but i really wanted to focus on those fleets and really get the uh the rebel fleet going because that's the best free to play fleet i know that tarkin is really valuable early but the Falcon really steps up its game as you move along and, and kind of in tandem with the Kylo farm, the ships you farm to get the finalizer, you also use a bunch of those to go get the Millennium Falcon and you use the bounty hunters that fly them to get Chewbacca. And we're getting Han Solo in our raids, so we may be able to get that Millennium Falcon along the way. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll see. Uh, but Biston we've been using a lot, mainly... For, to put target lock on an enemy to give taunt to bigs. And we'll talk a little bit about the bigs and Kylo farm here in a minute. But when we're facing a fleet with faster ships, we put Biston as a reinforcement rather than on the front line because they always target Biston and they always try to they kill him. He just has no, not a lot of health. He's an offensive weapon. Um, so let's go on with this. With First Order set, Special Forces TIE Fighter, we're going to try and get a couple of stuns with Kylo. And if we can get those two stuns with Kylo up front, we stand a chance of winning this battle. It's kind of what it all comes down to. So let's go ahead and uh, come in here. We got uh, the uh, Cad Bane is always going to stealth. This is a tough t stun here. Boba Fett has a lot of tenacity, and there you see it. Let's try again. Give him an assist there. We got the stun. Okay, the stun on Boba Fett. You're better off seeing Boba Fett right off the bat than seeing him as a reinforcement because when he reinforces he taunts so i'm always kind of surprised when people use boba fett as um as a starting ship right although he's really good at early on boba fett's ship is pretty amazing and we're getting some good hits here we might be able to kill this tie fighter right now and we just did okay this is going well so far let's hang on that phantom you know they're going to get a double reinforce or uh, an immediate reinforcement next turn uh, okay, let's bring in Biston now. So we bring in Biston. We've already got Taunt here, but even now, someone's going to gain um, turn meters. So when we do this, someone's going to gain 22. Biston's Ewing is going to gain turn meter, and I believe somebody else gains turn meter. I don't know. Let's, let's take a look. So anyway, he at least gains turn meter. Now we're getting after Boba Fett. We're going to wipe out Boba Fett here. This is going pretty well. And they didn't reinforce. They don't have the max reinforcement on Phantom yet. Nooch is not really used to that. Um, just, you know, you, Nooch is used to these high-level Phantoms that have all the reinforcement ability maxed out. And they call on a reinforcement immediately. So, um, I don't, I, I don't want to say this is going good. Because we want to wait a little bit and make sure before we start popping off here. But, uh, gotta say, gotta say. I'm just going to do a basic here and see if I can get a stun. And there we go. Okay, here comes IG-88. He's going to get off that shot and get a stun. Now we got to shoot him, but we're stealth with Biston, so we're okay. I'm going to go ahead and do this AOE, because I should... I've got a one in... There we go. We called Kylo. Now Kylo's going to finish off IG-88. 
I want to get this finished. We're going to call in the assist from Kylo. This should do it. It's close. It's close. Oh, we're going to get it right here. So there you go. Guys, this is how this fleet is working. Um, if if news faces geos, because geos are, start off slow, but then they start assisting. I'll, I'll put Biston out there on the front line and use the Special Forces TIE Fighter as a reinforcement. Because the Special Forces TIE Fighter, when it comes in, gives, uh, gives potency up to First Order and all ships, I think. And so when you get potency up for Kylo, he starts landing a lot more stuns. So that's my ideal formation. And against the Geos, Nooch can do that because Biston will go before the Geos go and get off that target lock, get Biggs taunting, get some turn meter up. Then we do everything else falls in line. But here we're going to finish off this Phantom and win this battle. The key is with these Tarkin fleets, you've got to beat them before the, that TIE Fighter Swarm comes up. Although with four ships out there on the field, I was in pretty good shape for that TIE Fighter Swarm anyway. That's what we're doing, guys. Right now, Nooch is number 33 in fleets. Day 94, free to play. And if you look here, I may be... This is where it gets a little bit tricky. Nooch's fleet has 154,000 power. This Geo fleet is about the same power... But they're seven stars, seven stars, six stars. It gets a little tricky. And over here with the seven star Ahsoka, seven star Phantom, six star Mace Windu, that that's a fleet that I can't quite handle yet. But let's talk about how we're going to be handling that in the near future. There's two things that Nooch is doing to start handling fleets like that in the near future. And um, number one, Nooch is farming. Going, I'm back to farming the Tie Silencer. So this is farmed on Kylo Ren Unmasked's node. I've been using this. I'm just farming this. I'm gonna get Kylo Ren's ship to seven stars, and probably about that time I might be at level 85 and be able to start gearing up Kylo to gear 11 and 12. That could be a really good combo with the ship. I I could start mowing down some folks with this ship, and we'll take a look in our our fleet arena and see what's up there at the top. Uh, we're going to see some Hound's Tooth, which I'm going to have to get a hold of that. The other place that we are doing is we're going to keep... I'm really focused on farming Biggs right now. I'm not going to farm anybody else. Here's Biggs right here. I've already gotten those four crystals or those four shards today. So I get 1,200 of this Galactic War currency. I finish it every day. I'm looking forward to getting to level 85. It's going to be about 10, 11 days, I think, to level 85. Then I can start simming this every day. Well, if I'm doing 1,200, then I can do this three times. That's 12 shards a day. I need 26, 126 more. 12 into 126 is good, good, good. 10 and a half, so 11 days. So about the time I hit level 85, I should have a 7-star Biggs, Biggs X-Wing and a 7-star Kylo Ren Unmasked. And man, I believe with the rest of my fleet, I'm going to have some success with that. If we look over in Fleet Arena, even at the very top of that arena, let's see, let's see what's going on. We got these, all these Thrawn ships up here, which Nooch doesn't have yet. And this, that's a pretty tall order. I don't think I'll be getting to the top of that fleet. We'll not be getting to the top of that fleet, but let's kind of scroll down a little bit. And here, here we see like a five-star Thrawn. This is a little more doable with a five-star Houndstooth. Um, if we get those seven-star ships, we get down here to an Akbar. This may be doable if I've got a seven-star Biggs and a seven-star Kylo. You can see I'm going to have similar gear levels on my ships to those. So that might be doable. And then if we look a little bit further down here, um, here is a Mace Windu. Mace Windu is your most vulnerable ship, and you want to try to get to those whenever possible. If you can get, If you can kill them off before... He gives all his extra protection. You're in pretty good shape. So this is a six-star house. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But certainly, um, Nooch can start climbing in the top 25. Here's a four-star. This this guy, somebody's letting this guy, somebody's letting this guy break in here. That, that's, that's not legit. Something's bogus there. I don't know what's going on with that. Or this person has climbed with better fleets and then... Puts us out there for defense for his buddies, but no, no. I don't know what the deal is here. Somebody's letting this guy in the in the gate. Maybe there's a, a ship shard chat that Nooch isn't part of, but I can certainly pick that guy off and get to number 16, it looks like. So I got some options in fleets. When we start getting up into the top 20, we're going to get 100 crystals a day. Guys, those crystals make so much difference. This currency matters too, but those crystals are really where it's all at. Let's take a look at Nooch's progress here on day 94 so you can see what's going on. You know already that Nooch has been farming 
Biston and Pathfinder. Uh, but let's look at that first order squad, all the farming there. Seven star crew, seven star first order special forces TIE pilot, six star getting to seven star, probably about that same time that 10 11 day mark will have Sith Trooper to seven stars. First order TIE pilot maxed out. General Hux, we got some work to do. Phasma's ready to level up. We're saving those credits for later because I'm not really going to use her right now. I might as well save it. I don't have anything to gear up with. Uh, Kylo Ren will be the farm as soon as I get done farming the TIE Silencer because he is Kylo Ren, First Order Executioner, and oh, we got to show Han here, but we got First Order Officer and First Order Stormtrooper are maxed out. These two are Cantina Farms. They will be after we get the TIE Silencer, and one other character that we've neglected to mention in the past is veteran han solo he's part of this kylo ren farm and there he is he's gonna be the last cantina farm we do again i don't think it's that big of a deal that i haven't started the cantina farms yet because i cannot gear these guys up I, I can't afford to level them up and i can't afford to gear them up yet so let's let's make sure our fleet and arena are in good shape in the meantime we've got palp going he's part of that farm too nuchez uh, installed palp's zeta for his leader where when a debuff expires Empire and Sith allies gain 5% turn meter. Nooch has been climbing to the top 200 in arena every day. I think right now I'm at like 180, something like that. Um, and one final note. Django Fett, we're farming. Well, I guess we'll give two final notes. Django Fett's we're farming because his note gives, gives, gives us the Hound's Tooth. And we need that to get the finalizer to unlock Kylo Ren. We're farming Destroyer Droid because, for the same reason, we get the Xanadu Blood, which gives us the same thing. We need that for Finalizer. Um, Nooch is also farming Dar Scion because, same reason, there is Kylo Ren Shuttle. And the final farm right now, I'm waiting to get to Bosk. Bosk is on Light Side, or excuse me, Dark Side 9B. Not there yet. I got You have to get to level 85 to farm 9 nine dark side level nine dark side nodes so we got a little work to do there and finally if we go back to ships or let's go to darth vader we got to get darth vader's ship <sighs> this is the tough one guys um 4b hard fleet battles i'm having a devil of a time with these fleet battles that's the arena in these fleet battles nooch has not been able to uh, we'll go to normal. We're on four right here. I have not been able to unlock this. I've tried so many times. This is a tough node. Those things are all level 82, 82 Tarkin. It has been really tough to plow through that node, and that's another reason I'm going after seven star uh, TIE Silencer and seven star Biggs. I think that'll help me get through this, and then I can start farming Darth Vader. Those ship farms are going to be our biggest delay, I think. Even maybe with the gearing, those ship farms might take us longer than the required gear to get to Kylo Ren Unmasked. We will see. Uh, that's several months off. Here's everything we're doing right now, guys. You can see what's going on. Day 94, free to play. Um, here's our squad arena rank, 181. I'm not sure we can take on that uh, Bastila team there, but we'll, we'll try it later. Guys, thanks for joining. There's the progress. Hopefully that fleet arena stuff helps you out. Yeah, Nooch Farm, Biston, and Pathfinder. I just really love that ship. Sometimes you got to do what you love. And, uh, and while you're doing what you love, uh, you guys should always remember, Nooch too good. Of course you enjoyed laying witness to this video. Subscribe here on Lord Vader. Watch another video over here. Remember Nooch too good.